You may already be familiar with the erasable friction pins by Pilot, and we wanted to introduce you to some of the latest in the series. This is the Friction Light Soft Color Sets, and they are highlighters in the same spirit as the Zebra Mild Liners and the Propus 2 Soft Color Set with the exception that they are erasable, just like everything else in the Friction series. So we were pretty excited about these because we love the, the mild colors. They're more pastel, less bright, so they're, you know, more attractive, I think, to use when you're studying or working. And they make really cool gifts because the they're, it's a little bit more of a novelty, I think, still. What I want to do is talk to you a little bit more about the different attributes of the Pilot Light Soft Color Sets. So right off the bat, I really like that it's available in either a six color or a three color. I think the three color, of course, is really good to start out trying, especially if you're not sure if you're really gonna like the series. The highlighter ink, you, I think you will find is a little bit more I would say wet than the more traditional highlighter ink. And that is in order to make it erasable. So that's kind of some of the trade off there. But the really cool thing about the six color set is that either way, you end up with a color that you wouldn't get in the other mild or soft color sets that we carry because they're both in five. So in the mild liners, you don't get like the soft violet, where, whereas you would in the friction light. And in the Propus 2 soft colors, you don't get the mild yellow. So just like the other sets, the friction light come in these soft plastic packs that are really great. They're reusable. They last. I always keep my highlighter sets inside these regardless of whether or not I'm throwing them in my desk or in my bag and I've never had any problems with them lasting. So I'm glad that they keep using this. It doesn't add a lot of weight so you're not adding a lot of weight to your bag even though you have these highlighters in a case. So I'm going to show you some swatches here. Now, keep in mind that my paper here is yellow, so colors, of course, look a little bit different on white, and I'll show you that too. But here we have the soft pink. Soft orange. Soft yellow, soft green, soft violet, and we've got the soft blue. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that on white also, just so you can get an idea here. So you can already see these highlighters are not going to be nearly as bright as the sort of more traditional glaring highlighters. Okay, so there are your color swatches. Now, one thing that's really cool about the Friction Light, and this is true of the entire Friction Color series, the heat from the friction of rubbing the rubber end on your ink is what's causing the ink color to disappear. Now, in actuality, nothing's erasing. The color is just going away. <laughs> But you can still disappear your color, which I'll do right here, and you can see how it's just completely taking it away. There's no problem with disappearing your color 
and then reapplying another color right on top of it. And you can actually keep doing that um, with your friction. You could then even apply more traditional ink on top. There's So even though there's actually some ink left behind with the color disappeared, there's still no issue at all in writing over the top of it. And that's something that people have asked about before. It's good to understand, I think, that you have this ability to keep piling on <laughs> the friction ink, so to speak. As I mentioned, the rear of your pen has this rubber nib, and that's how you get the ink color to disappear. So the thing that is really compelling to me about these is I already said I love the mild, I call them more like pastel colors. I absolutely love being able to erase with highlighter because I tend to over highlight. Like if I'm studying or even if I'm doing my annual taxes, a lot of times I'll do some color coding in my highlighting work. And I either tend to get carried away with the highlighting, and so I'm highlighting too much text, or when I'm doing the color coding, I accidentally will highlight the wrong color. And so then you've, you know, with a traditional highlighter set, you've kind of ruined your whole color scheme when you've done that. But the really cool thing about these is you can actually fix what you've highlighted incorrectly. If you're studying and you see that you've highlighted half the page, Obviously, you want to go back and refine a little bit, and it's just more effective. So I think that this whole concept of being able to erase the, your highlight is really cool. And like I showed you, and I'll show you again, what's really awesome is that this actually works. You know, I, even after knowing that the whole Friction series erases really well, I was absolutely shocked to see that you could have this sort of like, I would say, rather wettish highlighter ink just totally dry up and then disappear with the friction and so you can see here with a few swipes it's like I never had highlighted anything on this page so to me they're very very effective and totally worth um, trying out I think they make a great gift for any highlighter lover because I think that they'll feel like sort of like a new novelty to them, but also any college student. I know um, my mom purchased a lot of these for graduation time. She was invited to graduation parties, and so she wanted to give these high school graduates a gift that they could take off and to college and find very useful, and I know they were a big hit. So I think that these would make such a great gift for anybody who highlights a lot in the office or any college student I think would absolutely love them. So I would love to know your experience with the friction highlighters. Please let me know if you have any particularly special way of using them or if you found anything particularly different about them compared to maybe the mild liner or the propus to soft colors. I'm particularly interested to know if anyone's found that they run out quicker than, you know, either of these uh, non erasable highlighters. And the reason is I know the friction ink runs up faster than normal, just by virtue of what it is and, and the whole trade-off of it being a viscosity that's erasable. So I'm very curious to know from you guys, if you've tried these friction lights a lot to the point that you kind of have decided whether or not they run up faster than normal highlighters. And I think that, you know, anybody watching this video would find that information very useful. So if you wanna comment below with that information, that would be great. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Friction Light video.